This protest in Seattle, Washington on June 1st looks to be contained. But in a split second, everything unravels. Since the killing of George Floyd, police departments across the country are facing increased scrutiny over their tactics. This incident in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood is under investigation by the police department's internal watchdog group for the use of pepper spray, blast balls, and tear gas to disperse a crowd. The Wall Street Journal analyzed over two hours of footage shot by multiple witnesses as well as police scanner audio from the scene to examine how police and protester tactics pushed the incident into chaos. An hour after a citywide curfew, about 2,000 people are headed east on Pine Street toward the Seattle Police East Precinct to protest. But Seattle PD quickly erect a barrier one block away. Precinct's pretty well cut off. The scene still seems under control. The precinct captain even listens and responds to protester demands. Let us through! Let us through! Let us through! The tone changes when an organizer warns that some people have other tactics in mind. They're going to try and push through these gates, and we're all going to get hurt. Let us walk! Let us walk! We had a group that pushed on the fence line and threw one bottle. At this point, they're loud, but we're under control. Then, a crucial change in police tactics. They swapped the line of bike officers for officers in riot gear. They also discussed using pepper spray, what they refer to as OC, short for oleoresin capsicum. Well, we're not going to let them push on the line and create an officer safety risk. If we, if we get another significant push, we'll deploy OC. Then, a change in tactics from some protesters. A few at the front begin raising umbrellas, which protesters frequently use to shield themselves from pepper spray and tear gas. See, we have several people that are deploying umbrellas, believed to be a deterrent. Police experts we spoke with note that umbrellas are often seen as a hazard because they block sight lines. Then, the pivotal moment, a person in front is holding an umbrella that extends past the barricade. An officer reaches out, attempting to push it out of the way, The officer grabs the umbrella, and the person tries to hold on. At the same time, another officer deploys pepper spray at the direction of the incident commander, or IC. We're deploying OC at the direction of the IC. Other officers follow suit, spraying as the crowd backs away. Some in the crowd throw objects toward the police line. Then, the order to deploy blast balls and CS, or tear gas. Squad, go ahead and deploy CS! Blast balls and CS! Most of the protesters have dispersed at this point, but a few remain close to the barrier, despite tear gas filling the air. <sighs> Seattle Police Department policy dictates that once a crowd poses an imminent risk to public safety or property destruction, police should give an order to disperse. The policy also states officers will not use blast balls until a dispersal order has been issued. Footage we reviewed didn't show officers giving a verbal order. The Seattle Police Department said the incident is still under investigation. Police declared the June 1st protest a riot because some people in the crowd threw objects at police. Eleven people were arrested, according to Seattle police. Twelve people required medical attention, including police and members of the public. 